To celebrate my son's birthday, we decided to meet with my friend from Dubai and his daughter in Tangier to go watch a friendly but historic game between Morocco and Brazil to be held on March 25th, 2023. We're gonna go watch a big game. Yep, Morocco versus Brazil, baby. Everyone knows Brazil has always been a football powerhouse with many international star players. Morocco, on the other hand, showed an amazing performance finishing in the top four in the recent World Cup in Qatar. This match would be a homecoming for the Moroccan Atlas Lions since this would be the first opportunity for the fans to see them play at home since the World Cup. With only two weekly flights from Toulouse to Tangier, we decided to fly to Rabat, then take the TGV or fast train to Tangier. The TGV was a great experience for us. Only two hours and 10 minutes from Casablanca, or less than an hour and a half from Rabat. Very comfortable with the sign seating, I highly recommend it. To our surprise, the Moroccan football team took the same train from Rabat. So my son and I really enjoyed the bonus getting to see the players close up without any hassle. His birthday was getting off to a good start. Tangier is the most northwestern point of Africa, where the Mediterranean meets the Atlantic, and weather permitting, you can see Gibraltar from here. Europeans and Americans have always used Tangier as the gateway to Morocco and Africa, and today it is the main port to shuttle ferries between Spain and Morocco. I have been in Tangier many times, but since this was my son's first visit, I wanted to give him a taste of this beautiful city the day before the game. If you go into Tangier, then be sure to hit these spots. The Kasbah, which is the old town in the heart of Tangier, filled with white houses and many historic sites and an amazing view. Cape Spartel, which is the most northern western point of Africa. Cave of Hercules. The cave has two openings, one to the sea and one to land. It is believed that the Phoenician created the sea opening, which is in the shape of Africa. If you are in Tangiers, you cannot miss the stunning beaches. Sidi Qasim is one of the best beaches. If you have a day to spare, the short one hour drive to the famous blue city, Shifshaun, is a must. Shifshaun is one of the most beautiful places in Morocco with the blue washed dwelling on the reef mountains. The vibe here reminds me of the street of Cordoba, Spain. Shifshaun easily deserves a video of its own. But for us, back in Tangier, we needed to get ready for the game. With less than three hours before the match, we needed to get our game on. Thanks to my good friend from Dubai who was well equipped, we got our face painted and picked up team jerseys from the old town. Then it was time to head to the Grand Stadium. I love the electrifying ambiance, people partying in the street and inside the stadium. The Moroccan players delivered once again, beating the number one FIFA ranked Brazil 2-1. This sent their fans to cloud nine to hit the street of Tangiers partying through the night. My son was one of them. 